Well, fans, we're back again with another episode of introducing our new players. Uh, this time, the the elder statesman of the group. <laughs> you know, we're, we're very fortunate, very lucky to have him. And this is Dry Horn. How you doing, brother? I'm doing good, man. How are you? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Good, good. Um, Give the Buff fans here a little background of yourself, uh, you know, where you grew up, where you played, and all those sorts of things. Yeah, man. Uh, I was born in Dayton, Ohio. Uh, lived there for uh, six years. Then I moved to Louisiana. I um, lived there for four. And um, I finished out, like, pretty much fifth grade through high school in, uh, in Kansas City, Overland Park, Kansas, to be specific. Um, my mom worked for General Motors, so that's pretty much, you know, that's the reason is why we moved around so much. Um, I have a younger brother who is 20 as of um, May 12th, um, and he goes to USC. Um, I had an older brother uh, who lives in Dallas, um, and then I have another brother, like a stepbrother who played um, overseas as well, played for Cincinnati not too long ago. So I have one full blood brother and then two half brothers. Nice. Um, you've, you've definitely traveled, traveled around um, in your childhood. Tell us a little bit about um, your university, your college career and all the spots you've hit. Mm -hmm. uh, so I've also traveled a little bit in that aspect as well. Uh, started my first year off uh, at Nebraska, um, which was a great, very, uh, you know, a great experience. Really enjoyed that. Um, decided to transfer, um, and I played at the University of Tulsa. Uh, had to sit out a year. I was there for three years. Um, and now I'm on my way to Colorado. So it's been it's been a great journey, man. I've been blessed to be in a position to experience so many uh, conferences, so many great people, um, and just continue to try to improve as, you know, a person and uh, as a player. Yeah, we, we can't wait for you to get up here, man, and, and obviously use all your experience and knowledge with our young group. But I'll tell you, there's one thing I'm not too happy about, man. That Your beard's I mean, it's looking a little cleaner. <laughs> I, got, uh, I, got, I got some work I got to do, I think. I wasn't, you know, was I wasn't ready for all that. I'm so glad we did this today because any other day, I, you would have definitely gotten me. I look real scruffy. <laughs> uh, the times, the times are... Uh, you can do that in these times that we're in, so. Exactly. Why, why Colorado? Why, why did you choose to come, you know, um, spend your graduate year, grad transfer year with us? Yeah. Um, man, I just really feel like the, the opportunity just really presented itself. Um, you know, I just I leaned on, on God and just had faith that he would lead me in the right direction. Um, and Colorado really came with everything I was looking for. Um, you know, I'm familiar with uh, McKinley and, um, have ties, um, some of the same ties as Deshaun from the AAU standpoint. Um, you know, Coach Boyle was uh, really open, really honest, um, really sincere um, in, in recruiting me and pursuing me. And um, I really feel like, you know, some of the pieces that you all are missing uh, or, or losing from last year, I should, say, I should say, I'll be able to come in and, you know, really help contribute and keep um, – keep the success going. I know you all did really well last year, and uh, that's what I'm looking forward to is continuing to have another year, another great year, um, you know, winning championships. Absolutely. I know when your name came up on the board and you entered the portal, you were our number one target. So it was, you know, it was great to get you up here. But what can, what can Buff Nation expect from you and what can they count on you to bring night in, night out on the floor? I think, man, I, I – I know for a fact that my, my passion, my, my love, my will, um, you know, for the game and, and to win will, it will always be there, I'll always be at a high level. You know, I see myself in that aspect a lot of like Evan Batty, you know, like I love the passion that he has for the game, the excitement. And, um, that's what I want to bring um, from that standpoint, from a, uh, more of a basketball standpoint, I would say, you know, Shooting is one of the is one of the things that uh, I excel in uh, offensively, and then from a defensive standpoint, you know, rebounds and uh, 
playing together, a lot of, you know, communication out there on the floor. I feel like that's very important to have a tight knit group um, in the midst of adversity. No doubt. You may have just answered this, but what teammate are you most looking forward to to playing with next year? (laughs) Oh yeah, that's tough. Evan Batty's definitely up there. Uh, I mean, to be honest, I can't just pick one guy. I'm really excited to play with each and every one of them. Um, I've already talked to a lot of the guys and uh, I just can't wait to really build a relationship with them and, and really, and just win games. And, uh, you, you said you played in a lot of different conferences and, and maybe played against some Pac-12 teams, but um, when you come up here, what, what team you look you know, most looking forward to playing against and competing against in the Pac-12? Um, I would say I'm excited to play at USC. Uh, because my brother uh, goes there. So that would be the you know, first time he'll really be able to see me play. Um, so that would be a great experience. Um, I'm also really excited and looking forward to playing with Oregon uh, and Arizona as well. Um, you know, teams that have great, uh, great talent. And like I said, you know, from the jump, I'm a competitor. Uh, and I'm, you know, I'm, I'm excited to compete. You'll fit, you'll fit right in with us because uh, if you don't know, we got a little rivalry with those three schools. So we have <laughs> this year. Yeah, it'll be awesome. Um, now, for, for Buff Nation out there to get to know you a little bit, I just want to fire some questions at you. Who's your favorite NBA player? LeBron James. Oh, LeBron James. Is that beard inspired by LeBron? <laughs> It's not, but it's kind of looking like his a little bit. So, you know, those, you hang those on, skills. You're hanging, to, yeah. you're hanging on to the hairline, which is a good thing. I know. And if his skills can, you know, keep on pouring into me, that'd be great too. I ain't complaining about it. What's your favorite pair of shoes, basketball pair? Um, the 11s. Jordan 11s, the Bread 11s. Those are my favorite. I saw you got a new couple additions the last couple Yeah. Of I did, I did. I got a pretty good deal on the second pair, too. They're like $65, brand new Kyrie's. Can't beat that. Yeah, not at all. Favorite TV show? Uh, Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad. Mm-hmm. I have a hard, like, I have a hard time finishing TV shows, and that one I've watched all the way through. It was great. No doubt. It's a little interesting one, but if you could be any animal for one day, what would you choose? Definitely a lion. Definitely a lion. Uh, king of the jungle. Uh, passion. Fierce. Uh, determined. You know, I like that. That mantra. <laughs> I like. I like that answer. I'm. I'm still waiting for someone to say a buffalo, but maybe. <laughs> maybe go there. All right, Dre. If. Uh, if a theme song played every every time you walked into a room, what would we hear? There's a song by Sunday uh, Sunday Service, uh, more than anything. Uh, it's a gospel song, and I it it's great. I love it. It uh it just just really speaks about his love, about his care for us. Um, and that's something that I try to embody and try to, you know, do within my daily life is, you know, showing love, showing care and respect to, to everyone. So. I'll not lie to you and say I know what that is, but everyone out there, look it up. <laughs> yeah, check it out. <laughs> it's a great song. Do, I, do, you, do you go by any nickname that our fans can call you? Um, not really, but one that's kind of, you know, attached itself to me is just is Raya. Um, so, I mean, pretty much Jariah for short, but. Just Jariah for lazy people? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I like it, though. It's cool. It has a meaning of its own. So, if you all want to know what that is, I suggest you look it up. All right. What's what's your message to Buff Nation, man? Finish me out. Man, my, my message would be um, I cannot wait to play in the arena. Um, I can't wait to, you know, meet so many great amazing people amazing fans um and like i said just share you know the love that you know god has instilled in each and every one of us um, i'm excited to finish out the season or you know my last season um at the university of colorado um 
and just doing what I love to do. Uh, I'm just going to take full advantage of this opportunity and do the best I can to, you know, help the team uh, win games, whatever that may look like. Absolutely. Coors Event Center will be rocking, mate, and you'll be a huge part of it. And I know we all, sure. all can't wait for you to get up here, man. So um, stay safe in the meantime, and we look forward to seeing you soon. Appreciate it. Will do.